Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Monday, August 14. It's the tenth week after Pentecost, and week six in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 89, verse 19 to 29, and Mark chapter 9, verse 42 to 50. Now join me please in singing the second verse of Psalm 95. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas for you. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, once you spoke in a vision, I've exalted one chosen out of my people. Hallelujah, Psalm 89, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, once you spoke in a vision, and to your holy ones you said, I've laid the crown upon one who is a warrior. I have exalted one chosen out of my people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand shall hold him fast. My arm shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not deceive him, nor the children of the wickedness afflict him. And I will crush his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and love shall be with him, and in my name he shall be victorious. I will set his dominion from the great sea to the river. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn, higher than the rulers of the earth. I will keep my love for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him, his descendants I will make endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, once you spoke in a vision, I have exalted one chosen out of my people. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 9, beginning at verse 42. Jesus said, If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than to have two hands and to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell, where their worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. For everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good. But if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. Here ends the lesson. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God Most High, the rock of our salvation, hold us fast and make us strong. Crush our enemies and save us from those who hate us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.